Game 6 of the NBA Finals. The Golden State Warriors have had a long, long journey and are on the cusp of achieving their dreams. With everything on the line, they could be crowned champions with one more victory. Only one obstacle remains as they go up against the Hornets. The NBA postseason coming up next. Out here in game six on the road. How much urgency do they feel? Well, as nice as it would be to close it out in front of their home fans, they can't out to the wing. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Jay gets the three ball to go. Just approaching three minutes play. Pass to Jay from the arc. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. Williamson with a screen on Garland. Driving to the basket. And that one's good. Jay. The Warriors have gone four of eight and looking in control. Washington a screen on ball. And that one's good. Jay. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And the bucket is good. Ball is so skilled. Defenders try to get physical with him, rough him up a bit, but it doesn't phase him. That rarely works against Paul. Now here's Kaminga. Still without a bucket. Here's Jay. Drops in the three. Warriors have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Driving in. And that one's good. Jay. Kicking off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Kaminga is out there with Zion Williamson. Then there's Benedict Battle. And it's Jay in the one. They're rolling with purpose after setting the pick. Zion's terrific at recognizing how to score in these sets. Well done. Jay, the pass to Matherin. Here's Jay. The free ball. Sends it home from three-point land. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Jay. And the Warriors with another three. When you give up a three at the other end. But it can force you to rush things. From deep three-point land. An absolute bomb from three-point. The Hornets making their last shot. Good. He has 29 now. And that one's off. His fifth miss in 11 tries. And the Warriors with possession. They've got a 13-2 run going. Pure from three-point range. Here's Jay. 32 points in the game for him. Takes the three. Another three for Golden State. Outside Garland. Oh, they pick off the pass. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Minute 32 left to play in the third quarter. And takes it. Supremely confident in his ability. Pass to Wiggins. Three-pointer. And the Warriors with another three. Getting after for the second chance. They've got Miller. He's out there with Paolo Bancaro. And it's Simmons. In at the five down low. Oh, it's stolen. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And the Warriors with another three. Here's Jay. From deep. And the Warriors with another three. This has been. Outside Matherin. To the wing on the left. Here's Jay. And good. There's another. Putting this series away. And they get to celebrate tonight instead of starting to prepare for game. They've done it. The Golden State Warriors are the new NBA champion business. And now the championship is theirs. Has started. Time now to send it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, for the trophy presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. NBA commissioner Adam Silver. Go. He did it, right? There's no question. There's no question now. That's seven. That's seven. That's seven. Come on. That's seven. Let's go. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes. Help is here, baby. Hey, Mr. 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 Hey,
Thank you, thank you, MP. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. So, seven championships, one more than Michael Jordan, the man many would consider the greatest basketball player of all time. What does that mean to you? <laughs> uh, man, that's a good question. Uh, this is something me and my dad, uh, what, talked about <laughs> since I was a little kid. And as I've said before, you already know, uh, seven has always been the goal. And now that I'm actually here, <laughs> man, it's hard to believe. Uh, all right, who's next? So am I hearing you right that you are saying you are the greatest of all time? Mm. <laughs> uh, listen, you know, I know everybody's going to have a different opinion on that, and everybody has a different definition of what great means to them. But as far as I'm concerned, yes, ma'am, I am the greatest to ever do it. ¿Qué les dices a los que dicen que no eres el mejor de todo el tiempo? Gracias, appreciate you. What do you say to those who say you're not the greatest of all time? You know, that doesn't bother me. You know, I'm not one to check socials and all that. And I get why someone would say it's MJ or LeBron or someone on that level. But I know deep down that I've got the most talent, uh, the best work ethic, and uh, the best competitive spirit of anyone to ever play this game. And listen, those guys would probably say the same thing about themselves if you ask them. You know, it's that kind of confidence uh, is what it takes to be an all-time great, and that's what I am. I am an all-time great. We Let here. Me be clear, my boy is the GOAT. That's greatest <laughs> of all time. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, sir. Gary, what you got? This is actually for Prince. So, and P's got seven championships. How many more do you think he can get? How many more does he want? <laughs> not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven. Listen, keep listen. Going. We're gonna talk about it tonight, and we'll let y'all know next time. All right, appreciate y'all. Good night. 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 In order to understand what that means, you have to understand who his heirness was, and he was, quite simply, the greatest competitor I have ever seen in the history of pro sports. There is a reason nobody has more championships than Jordan in the modern era, and that's because he's the greatest to ever do it. He's the greatest scorer, the greatest one-on-one -on -one defender, and the most dominant talent the game has ever seen. That is until MP. Until MP came along and won seven titles of his own, no one could come close to challenging Michael Jordan, all due respect to Kobe and LeBron. Not only did he win, but he did it with a mesmerizing combination of natural talent and hard-earned skill. His ability to hang in the air longer than his opponents is legendary, but so is his willingness to adapt his game as he aged and to somehow keep improving even as his athleticism declined. MJ won finals MVP in all six of his championship teams. He led the league in scoring 10 times. Now you may not agree with my take about his defense, but I dare you to name a better scorer. Upon his retirement, he had the highest per game scoring averages in history in both the regular and post seasons and has so many famous clutch shots that I don't even have time to name them all before we go to commercial break. I realize now, as I describe MJ to you, that I, I keep speaking as if he's still the GOAT. And that's because his greatness is so deeply ingrained in my psyche that I find it almost impossible to let go. But the fact of the matter is, MP is better. I never thought this day would come, but it has. And I can't deny the truth, which is this. For as great as MJ was, MP is better. And if you don't agree with that, well, I kindly invite you to make your own list. But this one is mine, and MP is, without a doubt, the clear-cut number one GOAT of all time. Every time I see MP on the court, he improved his game. He gonna win another ring next year, too, watch. He's goaded. The best to ever do it. More chips than Mike. Crown him. Said before, and I'll say it again. MP's a beast. You already know the best I've seen, the best you've seen, the best anybody has ever seen.